This Karen is located in Tennessee. Yeah, put your mask on, Karen. No, I don't think so. No, you don't resist me. Pandering to other patrons in hopes of support. Yeah. Right here, Karen. Get out. How embarrassing. Don't ask him. Pay my bill. You talk to me. I pay my bill. Pay my bill. This is how you should never ask him, okay? Listen to the parenting going on in the back. This is the crux of the video. I'll pay your bill if you leave. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Bye, Karen. And then, of course, because Karen can't control the sitch. Go on, Karen. Go on, Karen. Go on, Karen. What did you say? What did you say? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's assault. It's on video. She strikes another person. The IBN Times reports the establishment is located in Nashville, Tennessee. The original uploader is asking folks who come across this video to support the restaurant Las Palmas in Nashville. The uploader and her family were enjoying a meal when this woman created a scene because she claims she was served bad food, prompting the recording of this incident. And Karen, hooting and hollering for attention, finally gets what she asked for. Now, just something to keep in mind. The radical left wants to tear down everything in its way, abolish the suburbs. We know how racist, bigoted, and xenophobic this man is. The suburban housewife will be voting for me, he said. They want safety and are thrilled that I ended the long-running program where low-income housing would invade their neighborhood. Biden would reinstall it in a bigger form with Cory Booker in charge. Cory, of course, being spelled wrong here. Although it is incredibly racist, focusing on the first part, the suburban housewife. This Karen is exactly what he is talking about. He is calling on the army of bob cuts to unite around him. It should also come as no surprise that last month Trump announced he was repealing the Obama era affirmatively furthering fair housing rule, which was intended to fight housing discrimination by strengthening implementation of the 68 Fair Housing Act. The rule itself, which Biden has pledged to reenact, doesn't mandate land use or rezoning from the federal level, but Trump has portrayed it as a move to bring multi-unit housing into neighborhoods of single-family homes, warning that it would lead to an increase in crime. Many studies have shown that to be untrue. Exactly. Not true, not in the slightest. It's a dangerous, deranged man trying to bring his dangerous, deranged, fear-mongering tactics to those on the fence with a racist bone or two in their body to vote for him. Moms are actually out in full force. From the streets of Portland, where Trump's army invaded the city. To the moms in Belarus protecting those protesting a rigged election. There is a reason for this pandering. Because in 68, Nixon tried to do it, and Trump is doing it now. Problem is, per the New York Times, just 38% of voters in the suburbs approve of his job performance.